Stop giving tax evasion subsidies to the rich. IMF tells Pakistan. Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, Kristalina Georgieva, has advised Pakistan to stop giving tax evasion subsidies and plans to the rich if it wants to function as a country. Number one, tax revenues. Those who can, those that are making good money, public sector, private sector, they need to contribute uh, to the economy. And secondly, to have a um, uh, a fairer distribution of the uh, uh, pressures by moving subsidies only towards the people who really need it. The statement was given after a question was raised on why the IMF is delaying its funding program to Pakistan, despite the fact that the country is on the verge of an economic meltdown and was still suffering from last year's catastrophic floods, which had affected at least 33 million people. My heart goes out to the people of Pakistan, but the Pakistan government needs to collect higher taxes by withdrawing subsidies to the rich, said George Yeva. IMF has asked Pakistan to take steps to function as a country and not to get into a dangerous place where the country's debt needed to be restructured. I think this demand is the most suitable expectation, she added. Emphasizing the need for an increase in tax revenue, the IMF chief stated that it has to be the rich sector of the country who contribute to the economy and not be provided with subsidies to get away from paying taxes. Number 1. Tax Revenues Those who can, those that are making good money public sector, private sector, they need to contribute to the economy. And secondly, to have a fairer distribution of the pressure by moving subsidies only towards the people who really need it. It should not be like the wealthy benefit from subsidies. It should be the poor who benefit from them, she added. The remarks come after Pakistan and the IMF staff concluded the ninth review of the $6.5 billion bailout package without an agreement. To fulfill the precondition of the IMF, Pakistan has agreed to implement the Memorandum of Economic and Financial Policies and has already started taking difficult decisions, including increase in prices of petroleum products, taxes and in the energy sector.